light up your headphone stand. Space is at a premium. The folks at Tilted Nation sent over a TN Shadow for me to check out to help clean up some of my terrible clutter. Now, this is a gamer-centric headphone stand that also helps route the cable on a gaming mouse and also includes a couple extra USB pass-through ports. I've played with a few products like this, but I always appreciate an accessory that's a thing and another thing that's also a third thing. We've got clean, simple lines with a nice RGB color accent on the front face. It doesn't take up a lot of surface area on my desk. The mouse cable arm is something new for me. Gaming mice often have stiffer braided cables. You know, my poor old rocket is getting frayed from rubbing around on my desk. Pulling the cable off the desk allows for a slightly easier degree of movement. I'm not a hardcore enough gamer for this to be a significant concern for me, but I totally see where this would be an improvement for a few of my friends. A Tilted Nation also sells a similar mouse cable arm standalone if you just want that to float the cable. The cool thing about enthusiast gaming and PC building, we're playing with a lot of color these days. A desk accent here, a lit mouse pad there, and you have great options that can be fine tuned to your specific tastes. There's a little power button here on the shadow that you can cycle through colors like I'm doing now, or it allows you to pick a specific color to stay on. Make sure you're keeping your RGBs somewhat consistent across your desk. Though I do have a couple small gripes with the shadow. I wish this base were just a little heavier. If you're using a chunkier headset, like a meaty wireless option, it makes the shadow a little top heavy and you don't want that to be easily nudged around your desk. Now the color options are terrific, but I do wish this had an app or some kind of controller software. It would be really cool if I could change all my ambient lighting in my office from the same RGB controller software. And also this isn't an actual gripe, but I kind of wish it had a front USB port. There are two on the sides, but it would have been nice to have one front and center to more easily pop in a flash drive. But all that said, we get a triple threat accessory at a decent price. The Shadow full retail, $60. And at the time I shot this, it was on sale for $40. There are basic headphone stands that don't do anything else that will sell for around $40. So I think Tilted Nation is in pretty decent shape here. You can have your RGBs float your mouse cable and hold your headset without breaking the bank. I'll of course leave some links down below if you want more info on the Tilted Nation Shadow or if you want to shop one of these stands for yourself. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, and subscribing to the channel. Reviewing computers and phones is awesome, but finding fun accessories is one of my favorite parts of this job. So if you'd like to help support the production of these conversations, there are some links down below. There's the support page on somegadgetguide.com or you might consider joining the list of names currently scrolling by on your screen. That's a growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals, a huge resource for me planning future videos and reviews, and we get into some fun gaming conversations. They're just super cool people, so I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, uh, Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.